Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here to look at the Funko Pop of Dancing Ferris from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So I want to give you guys a quick look at the uh, back of the packaging, because you can see behind the characters, there's all sorts of quotes from the film. You know, like Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago, and Bueller Bueller, the Life Moves Pretty Fast speech, Don Shane, it's all back there, so that's pretty cool, I think. It's a nice touch. Now there are two Ferris Bueller Pops in this line, this one and the regular one of him in the jacket. And even though he spends a majority of the film in that jacket, like that is the outfit he wears for a lot of the film, when I think of the movie, I don't even think of him in the jacket. I think of this. I think of the parade. Uh, this is the pop to me that is like the one to get if you're gonna like choose between two, like if you don't want both. I just think this is classic. And the paint on his vest is really well done. He had a really unique kind of pattern uh, in the film. And this actually does kind of honor that pattern really well. And it's uh, as far as like how little it is, it did a great job with it. Uh, if you're hunting for this in stores, be on the lookout for the paint sleeve on uh, his left sleeve there. Almost every single one I saw had white paint just bleeding all over his arm. This is the best one I saw. Uh, but the white paint for the rest of his shirt and that sleeve and the mic were really clean, really well done. I think the sculpt of his legs are good because it gets him in a... His legs aren't just even to the side. You know, one's coming forward. I like that it's slightly dancey. The, uh, the wrinkling looks good, the white shoes and the black line around them is pretty clean. But they did a really good job with his body, even like his little hand looks good, the, the pose he's in. And the hairstyle is perfect. It perfectly captures Ferris Bueller's style in pop form. Uh, the paint lines though, man, be on the lookout for that. When I was hunting in stores, tons of them were a giant mess in the front. You can even see mine here is kind of faded. Some bled over, some weren't properly painted and had more skin showing. If you care about that sort of thing, that's what to be on the lookout for. Um, also, you know, my eyeballs, like from here they look good, but if you got up, you know, really close, you can see they are like a little, not smeared, but like the lines aren't perfectly clean. They're a little uneven and blotchy. I saw that on a few, again, if you care, but it doesn't really matter on this pop. It's not terrible. Um, in fact, from, you know, standing like less than a foot away, it's fine. But man, this pop looks cool. Like he looks great in his little dancing pose. I love it. Um, I think this is such a cool, fun pop for them to make. I'm glad they made this series. You know, it is the 30th anniversary of this year, so it makes sense. But having this pop as a Ferris Bueller fan, I'm really, really happy about this. I think it turned out great. So thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff.